it's just like I was talking about in last week where I said that running was a skill, reading is another skill. It's, it's different between reading out loud and how you're supposed to read to yourself. Um, when you read out loud, you're going to hear what you're, what's, what you're saying. And so because of that, we get into a habit of doing that in our heads where in our heads, we're actually reading every word and we're hearing it audibly in our heads. But what we're supposed to do is just like trace with our eyes, like eyes, eyes, eyes. And this is not something that I'm perfect at. I'm still, I'm still working on it myself. I'm not the best at myself. I still do it audibly, but I go into modes where I, I can eyes, eyes, and then you read so much faster. And so one way to train this is to either take your finger like a little kid, like how they teach the kids that can't read, you take your finger and you drag and you just read the word, but you don't say it out loud in your head. You just read, you just let your eyes do the reading. You just take up the information. You could do that. Or what I do is I get a note card and I put a note card on one line and I go line, line, line. And instead of trying to read every one word, I just scan, scan. And so I'll just go slowly, but scan, doom, doom, doom. And if you could develop that skill and develop that part of your brain, then you could read so fast. Cause SBB, man, we here. I'm here. We here. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. If y'all watching this, um, another day, another episode on the Silent But Deadly Show. And uh, we here. We we cooking. We coming. We ain't missed a week yet. I almost missed last week. I can't lie. I was about to take the week off. And and earlier today, I really wasn't uh, thinking. I really don't know. Didn't know what I was going to talk about. But um um, but here I am. Here I am. As y'all can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about what I've learned from reading a hundred books. And um, I haven't. I didn't read. I didn't finish my hundredth book recently. But I am currently getting back in the reading circles. Reading. I'm getting back into the habit of reading. So I think it's perfect time for this video. And um, before I get into that, I was just gonna say that. Um, I like doing the podcast and, and I think that it's good for me and I think that I'm doing it for a reason. I think, I mean, it's not hurting me. It doesn't take too much effort, but I was going to like stop doing the podcast for a minute uh, and take time to grow and just and not say nothing and and not bring nothing to the table, not post nothing to the internet and just focus on what, what I got going on and focus on continuing to evolve and continuing to uh, keep getting new insights and keep learning new things but uh honestly I, I i know i have i still have stuff to talk about i still haven't ran out of ideas to talk about uh i still wanna i still got i still want to hit the social media again i still could talk plenty about health and fitness i could talk about nutrition so i still got ideas to talk about but the things that i'm still learning right now in my life i gotta keep that i gotta keep that uh to myself um so that i can bring it to you when it's more thought out. I've had more experience, and uh, and I'm just not I'm not rambling, and I'm not talking about something where I might be wrong because I'm still in it right now. Or I might not I might not be able to explain it all the way because I haven't uh, figured it out yet. So like basically all that to say, I'm in the lab right now. I'm in the lab, and I'm I'm growing. I'm growing. Um, but I can talk about books because. I have read a hundred of them. I have read a hundred books, and um, I should have my, I should have my a list. Yeah, let me get it real quick. If y'all excuse me, just like how I showed y'all in the last video about how to run, or my running video. This is my running log. Uh, I also have a reading log uh, of all the books that I read. Um, um, and at the beginning, I got books that I want to read, my reading list kind of, and then down here, I got books that I have read. So if you can see that it started off in 2019 uh, and I'll get into the significance of that year. And then 2020, just going crazy. And these are all the books I read, all books I read right here. So right now I'm, I'm, I read 102 books uh, just in the time I've been tracking, now, I've read more than that, but in in that range, so I'm at 102 books, and man, so I don't have any notes, but I feel like I could get into this, like how I got into 
during the episode, I can talk about how I started reading, talk about benefits of reading, and talk about uh, tips and how you can start reading. Um, and I also talk about um, what I'm doing now and how my reading has changed. So we'll keep it similar to the running episode. Like I say, uh, I could go, it's not a totally deep episode, but it's, it's something that I do. And it's something from my life that has uh, helped me to grow and helped me to, um, it's a habit that's, it's a good habit that I've had and that I'm trying to build some more. Um, so it's similar to the running episode. Uh, so first I'll just get into how I started reading. So um, originally, if you were to ask me how I started reading and I wasn't really thinking about my whole life, I would tell you, and this is the answer I give to a lot of people, I would tell you that I started reading my junior year, uh, um, my junior year of high school. My t my English teacher, my English teacher, Miss Williams, she, I, that's the time I really started reading for a, like in my more mature, but looking back, uh, to like middle school and elementary school, grade school. I remember I used to read that Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I, I remember times I used to go to Barnes and Noble, and and get my mom would give me books, and man, I was excited. It was like a, it was like me. It was like almost the same feeling as getting a video game at certain points in my life. And I also remember, like way way back in like grade school, early grade school, when they had like the Scholastic Reading Day. And they would bring out like the books uh, and you could like buy books and they were like toys. People wasn't really checking for the books. People was checking for the toys, but some people was checking for the books. And I don't remember necessarily getting, buying anything. Oh, and that was like during parent-teacher conferences too. Dang, it's taking me back. That was like during parent-teacher conferences. Uh, and so you would have, they would have the books out with the parents so that you could actually buy something. And so I do remember the one book I do remember getting from those from then was like the Guinness Book of World Records, a big, big book of Guinness Book of World Records. I do remember that. I, I would get that. I think I got a few of those. But moving past that, uh, the few books, and I think I still might have them, maybe not. Oh, and also, even, bef even before that, before the Scholastic books at my, uh, at one of my schools, uh, my school before that, we used to go to the library, the public library, and I remember reading comic books there, but um, as I think about it, and as I reflect about books and stuff like that, I think about all the times where I was around books, but I reflect on them as good times. Like, I don't know, I, I used to, I just remember good memories of the library. I remember enjoying going to the library because back then it was kind of a field trip too, to because uh, the library was across the street from school, the public library basically, so. It was kind of like a field trip going to the library, um, but I have all these fond memories of reading. So I could tell you that I started reading junior year of high school, but that wouldn't be true. Um, that would definitely, that wouldn't be the whole truth because I remember the Diary of Wimpy Kid books. I remember this book, I think it was called Middle School. Um, and of course you get like books that you, re that you get uh, for English classes and that I've got for English classes before junior year, but you know, it it didn't really stick um, to junior year. And then, um, so yeah, my teacher, she gave us a book. I think it was like, like a, it might've been that book about like the Indian kid or, and yeah, like it's, I don't remember, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but back in the day, we got assigned a book, man. You don't really read the book. Like I remember plenty of books that we got assigned and I didn't really read them, but some of them you do, but Man, if I could talk about one thing about school that's that actually was like important was the reading, like teaching kids how to read and uh, reading. But I guess it also was bad because it turned kids off from reading because you have to read for school. So if you don't have parents encourage you to read or somebody encourage you to read, then uh, you'd be like, why would I read if it's not for school? It kind of turns into a chore. So it's interesting. It's a double-edged sword. Uh, but yeah. Um, I started, I picked up the habit and I went on the street reading 100 books after reading that book in junior year. And I just remember it wasn't like a crazy book, like nothing profound or anything. But even like during the year, I just remember like if you actually read the book and you read it from beginning to end, like it's actually not too too bad. And then I I learned about uh, nonfiction books because in school you read a bunch of fiction books. But then I started, I started learning about nonfiction books. 
and then boom that that's that's when it uh that's when I started going crazy because from that period and around the same time I was getting more into school because I figured out I wasn't about to get <laughs> recruited to play no basketball so I was like all right I've been doing the school thing I've been taking the school route school easy school been easy and I turn around and I look I'm like okay I got good grades and now they started talking about college so I was like all right let me just focus my attention to college I'm gonna be a student now focus my attention to being a student um so I, I got an interest into science because cause I like science um, and I liked science a lot uh, back then too. I was taking biology, uh, AP biology, uh, all that. And it's just something that interests me. Um, so I started reading science books. So if you look at the beginning, let's let's look at the beginning of my, my 100, 100, um, let's get, and I can't talk, let's look at the beginning of my reading list. So if I had Sacred Hoops, a basketball book, then Dead Zone, Hidden Figures, The Institute, I listened to that. The Things They Carried, that was for school. My Father, Pablo Escobar, Talking to Strangers. Okay, and here's, I didn't uh, put the book that we read in English class, but Hidden Figures was definitely, oh, I remember my librarian gave me Hidden Figures uh, in the East Library. She gave me that book or something, something, but yeah. Um, then here goes my um, To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't even remember that. Children of Blood and Bone. I remember that. I got some audiobooks. But anyway, I was just reading. I started, I got into the habit of reading. So I was just trying to read anything. And I was trying to find new books that I like. Um, and 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 it was, it was turning to a habit. And especially with the pandemic too. I definitely started reading a lot. A lot of people formed some bad habits over the uh, pandemic but I, I got a rap uh, I got a rap I got a verse uh, um, I talk about sharpening my sword sharpening my brain um, and and that's real fact that's really what I got on I was really sharpening my brain just reading training I was chilling but you know I wasn't tweaking like a lot of people was tweaking I wasn't tweaking at all but um, but yeah I'm gonna talk about that one day just the pandemic and how that changed me how that change the world it changed a lot but uh, i feel like that really i feel like that really uh it was like a catalyst of my growth honestly but um so yeah that's how i started reading um just finding stuff that i enjoy honestly and i made it a challenge uh some and it, and it progressed over time like sometimes i read 20 minutes a day or maybe i read a chapter a day but you find a book that you enjoy that a lot and you start reading more and more and then you find some books that you don't like and it might just take you a little bit longer to read um but always getting the books buying books because books is not that expensive library and i'm gonna get into the library uh as i talk about what i'm doing now well i'll get into what i'm doing now so right now as you can see and as always in my videos um these books right here i think it's a nice uh decoration but it's not really a decoration i really be having books right here um and i used to sit up there but now i'm chilling on the couch you feel me just kicking my podcast talking to y'all but and then i got the books right here because they know what i'm on they know what i'm on it's it's this anyway uh but right now when i talked about library i've been tweaking man i've been at this university for two and a half years i got uh, one and a half years left about and I'm just now getting to the library for real. Like I used to, I got a few books from the library from the past, but now it's time to really crank it up. So um, I got this book, this is a library book. And I got another, oh, here it is. And I got another book right here. I got these two on uh, a few days ago. And, and I remember, oh, I remember I talked about the Stephen King book uh, in my second episode the podcast or the first one maybe the second one yeah the second one um but that book took me a long time to read and it was like about the same size as this but for this one i'm going hard on this i'm finished i'm finishing this next week and i got it this week so i'm not gonna play around no more with the books um because the library here like the, there's a whole bunch of libraries here but they literally got almost everything I, I remember they told us when i first came here it's like the second largest library uh next to harvard so like if i'm here like what am i doing if i'm not gonna be 
getting all these, like I'm over here buying books, I'm tweaking, I got all these books for free. The only thing I don't like about uh, buying my own books, I can't mark them up, but I just been taking pictures of uh, the stuff that I wanna have. Uh, maybe I'll start writing it down too. But um, this is the Brothers Kakramazanov, something, that's their last name, but uh, something, this probably, uh, probably rings bells to some people who are watch like Jordan Peterson and Lex Freeman. Um, this is a book by a Russian dude in the 1880s and and I like it because um, I didn't used to read a lot of fiction. I used to only read nonfiction, but fiction, it really does work in another part of your mind and, and it teaches you some like intangible things. And, and I've heard that we learn and we can live and get examples from stories. And this story is just like, it's crazy i'm not gonna get into it but um but yeah i'm learning a lot about like how people used to live back in the old days like in the soviet union uh, i'm learning about like women and relationships and about like dysfunction and like belief and unbelief and all that just from this nonfiction book and it's 700 pages and the print is tiny um but i'm getting through it i read 100 pages yesterday 100 pages the day before that um basically and so it took me like some months on months to read that Stephen King book, but I'm gonna read, I'm gonna finish this next week. And then after that, I'm gonna finish this one. Um, this is like a, a future book. This, it's about, um, this is this is a nonfiction. It's about like, um, like society and culture, that type of thing. Um, but I'm also reading this. I'm gonna finish this next week too. This is a reread, it's called Fast Food Genocide because I like reading about food and health and nutrition too. Um, so, and I'm gonna talk about that uh, on, when I talk about tips to read and um, how to read or whatever. But yeah, that's what I'm on right now. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read like two books a week because I could say one book a week, but I feel like that's setting the bar too low. And I feel like it's kind of too easy to just read one book a week, especially if it's like a 200 page book. That's not really a whole lot of reading. Now, if I'm reading 700 page books. Uh, that's a little different, but I want to be reading like a nonfiction and a fiction. Um, and I also want to reread some of the books I have, but I, I really want to take advantage of the library. So that's what I'm doing. And this is something that I'm, um, started doing this week because I need something to do in between class to keep me, I just need an extra thing to put my time towards. Basically, I don't have enough stuff on my plate, on my schedule, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And um, man, reading is, I'll talk about the benefits of reading and the tips right now, I'll just get into it, uh, cause I'm talking kind of fast, so this will probably be a shorter episode, but it's alright, it's alright, there might be some new viewers, uh, trying to, trying to learn how to get into it, but the benefits of reading is, um, for non-fiction and fiction, well, either one, I feel like it's like a learning high, and that's why, that's when, if I had to describe it in a short form to somebody while I like reading, it's like, you get high off of learning, um, and even if you're reading fiction where it's not direct learning, if you're reading an author that actually um, is like painting a picture and has like interesting characters and like real great writing, which I'm still exploring and still learning about because I haven't read enough, but I'm starting to learn a little bit. Um, even if you're reading fiction or nonfiction, it's like a high, it's like a, it's like a different type of chemical release. Like, like you get your cat, like you have your exogenous chemicals like caffeine, um, that gives you a, a one type. I was just thinking about this yesterday. You have your exogenous that gives you one type of high, like coffee, gets you the caffeine high, or you smoke some weed, you get the dopamine, and like there's a lot of stuff going on with weed, or you know, like it's different type of highs, or you exercise, you get that uh, like adrenaline or like epinephrine, whatever the only one it is. But reading, whichever, whatever name they gave the feeling that you get, reading is a different one. Um, and it's the, it's the high of learning. And so that would be my short, that would be the first thing I'd say if, if somebody said, why do you read? That's the short form. I get that learning high. Um, and that's a true thing. Uh, and to get into like benefits and tips to read, I'm just going to keep bouncing around everywhere out because I want to make sure I don't miss anything or forget anything. You got to read books that's interesting to you. Like... Uh, like going back to what I was talking about in the beginning, I think school might have did a disservice to uh, kids, but a service at the same time, but that's not, we're not gonna get into that right now. Uh, they did a disservice to kids by making them read. And so, well, well let's not say we, they did them disservice. We'll say that because sometimes 
people don't take school serious or school is not the most fun thing in the world, you could associate reading with that because in school they make you read and it was like a chore. So it, it makes like for a student, reading is associated with a chore if you don't get into the habit of reading for fun and you don't understand reading for fun. But when you get back into reading or if you want to read, you have to read something that interests you or else it's not going to be fun. It's still going to be a chore. Like if you just read what other people are reading, you might not like what other people are reading and you won't know what you like to read until you explore it. So going back to what I just talked about, for me, I was reading about science because I wanted to learn about science. And like I said on the list, I read the book about Pablo Escobar because I was watching Narcos. I was like, wow, this dude's crazy. But uh, I know that Narcos is like a cinematic rendition of it. And uh, so I wanted to like read the real thing. So it's just like, you got to learn to use your mind and you have to see what you're curious about and what you want to know more about. Or if you don't want to know more about anything, then you can use a book as a good story instead of like vegging out and watching uh, Netflix or like a TV show or like some social media crap. You can find an actual story and that way you can entertain yourself but it lowers the stimulus and it, it actually exercises your mind it actually it actually you can enjoy a story and enjoy something and it's giving you something versus enjoying a story on tv and on the screen and it's taking something away it's taking your attention away uh, it might be overly stimulating it's just it's just different when you when you read you create the image in your head, you create the story in your head, what the characters look like, what the setting looks like, it's all in your head. But when you are watching it, it's, it's different because it's already created for you. And um, and it's just different, it's different. We'll just leave it at that. So uh, that's one benefit is that learning high. Second benefit is just, um, man, it's something to do that's not on the screen. like it's not very many things nowadays and in the society that we got set up where you can do something that's not on the screen like uh even working out you use your phone but if you read you could just you feel me go outside enjoy the weather and just get in a book and just uh, it, that for i guess another reason would be it, it helps your focus it helps you to pay attention to something like it, it trains your attention span um i could tell for me like not being on my phone and i could just read like i could read and not worry about my phone and it's training my attention span and I know like it's people that can read a whole book in a day and I'm not there yet but I'm not where I used to be because I used to read for 20 minutes and be like oh like I'm tired of reading but now I'm training that muscle I'm training that, that reading muscle so that I can um read for a long time because I want to read for a long time and I'll get into this uh too so I don't forget uh, a little tip for reading um it's just like I was talking about in last week where I said that running was a skill, reading is another skill. Um, when we read it, it's, it's different between reading out loud and how you're supposed to read to yourself. Um, when you read out loud, you're gonna hear what you're, what's, what you're saying. And so because of that, we get into a habit of doing that in our heads where in our heads we're actually reading every word and we're hearing it audibly in our heads but what we're supposed to do is just like trace with our eyes like eyes 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 and this is not something that i'm perfect at. i'm still i'm still working on it myself i'm not the best at myself i still do it audibly but i go into modes where i i can eyes eyes and then you read so much faster and so one way to train this is to either take your finger like a little kid like how they teach the kids that can't read you take your finger and you drag and you just read the word, but you don't say it out loud in your head. You just read. You just let your eyes do the reading. You just take up the information. You could do that. Or what I do is I get a note card and I put a note card on one line and I go line, line, line. And instead of trying to read every one word, I just scan, scan. And so I just go slowly, but scan, doom, doom, doom. And if you could develop that skill and develop that part of your brain, then you could read so fast because like it's like basically you read the whole sentence but it's like you only had to read one word it's like you take a whole snapshot but once you develop that part of your mind uh it's like I've, I've heard it explained that you like see the story in your head and i've felt it a few times and it's especially for fiction but um another thing i noticed is reading is long and 
small print and real real in the weeds uh fiction book when i when i switched to this non-fiction book like i've been reading this and i switched to this it's like so much easier it's like wow like this is so easy but i need to um i need to keep training that i need to keep training that scan and scan because once i got that i'm gonna be reading fast and that's what the rare readers can do they just they just zoom 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 and you get the story better you don't have to keep going and rereading you don't get distracted, you focus, but it's really an eye thing. Instead of like audibly reading it in your head, it's just like scan, scan, scan. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that helps somebody, but that's how, uh, I wasn't taught that. I learned that on the internet. Uh, that's a good thing about the internet, um, but I'm still working it and it's not easy, but I promise with that note card, I, I, I'll switch from note card, no note card, but I, I need to keep doing it. But take the note card and just scan 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 and you just it's just it's a high thing so man this was like an old to books i don't know if you could tell but i like to read um and i i did i wasted a lot of time i should have been reading a long time ago because uh i don't know it's a lot of books for me to read and i gotta read i got some multiple reading lists i got one on my phone I got an Amazon reading list and I got a, uh, whew, I got my library reading list, which is books I can actually get. Um, and it's getting kind of long. It's already 11 books on there. So I'm going to keep trying to read one to two books a week um, and, and see where I get, keep training this reading thing. And uh, the beautiful thing about the library here at my school is that it's libraries all over here, like all over campus. But on the, on the, on the web browser, you can tell them to bring the books from this library to this one library. Um, or to any library you want out of all the locations and you can return it to any library. It's like, cool, it's a whole system. Um, and I tweet that should have been taken advantage of this a long time ago, um, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna keep reading, get back into these books. I'll probably read after this, probably make some breakfast. And yeah, I got to, cause I'm trying to read a hundred pages of this a day and one chapter that a, a day. And if I could do that, I'll finish them both by next week. Uh, and that'll be my one book. Well, yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, and, uh, man, uh, I would talk about another reason why I'm motivated to read, uh, <laughs> but I'll say that for an episode that's going to come out in March. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so uh, I'll talk about if you want to get into reading, I, I said, I already said one thing that you could just read things you want, but I don't know, just read, find a book, uh. If you need a book recommendation, uh, you hop in the comments if you want, if you want some more tips. Um, but one, also don't hop in the deep end. Don't go get a 700 page book. Start off with something light. Like when I first started reading fiction, I read the Hunger Games series. Um, not first started, but in college, like I read the Hunger Games and it was an easy book, but it was still a good read. Now this book, this Russian guy, is I'm training, I'm training my reading with that, and I'm getting stronger. My reading, my reading must be getting stronger, but I ain't gonna talk about reading no more. Um, I talked about it a little bit in my self improvement episode, but I figured I'd devote a whole episode to it because I'm getting back into that phase of my life. And also, I'm thinking about maybe once a week dropping an episode where I just review a book and I talk about what's going on. Um, but I'm gonna just keep reading right now. I ain't trying to stack nothing and I'm also focused on some other stuff so uh, maybe in the future I'm going to keep reading for right now but I encourage everybody to read um, <laughs> and uh, yeah it's a good idea you going to build your brain build your everything you know just try it just try it alright I'm done uh, SBD we out here let's go